In this edition of the TV News, FX's anger management gets a swift ratings kick from viewers. Netflix's one billion hours of viewing for June. Will traditional TV be cannibalized? CNN does something right. Plus, the new media, new marketing report. Stand by for the TV news. This is the TVnews.tv, brought to you by CTAM Summit and CTAM Insights. One location, two conferences, one price to access both. For registration and information, visit CTAMConferences.com. Welcome to the TVnews.tv. It's Tuesday, July 10th. I'm Jeff Grimshaw, and here now is the lead. Does FX's Charlie Sheen-fueled anger management have any legs? Well, consider the following. In its week two outing, anger management lost 38% of its viewers. That's down to 3.4 million. So, what happens from here on in? Well, we'll get you the next viewing trend as soon as it emerges. Okay, everyone is still swooning over the Netflix announcement that it racked up a b -b -b billion hours of viewing time in June. And Netflix says this represents the highest network viewing on television. But, au contraire, says Jenny Capital Markets, which claims that Netflix is more closely associated with a cable operator than a single network, and so their viewing is just okay for an MSO. We break this down courtesy of the magic of math. A billion hours in the Netflix universe breaks down to about 80 minutes a day per subscriber of viewing time. In comparison, an MSO, by virtue of cable's share of the total TV viewing time, commands nearly three hours of viewing time a day per sub. So it's up to you. Netflix, super network, or just so-so cable operator. Your choice. And with everyone seemingly being the harshest critic of CNN, we can report that, in our opinion, they're doing something right. CNN will be teaming with Facebook to utilize FB as its official second screen during its America's Choice 2012 presidential election coverage. And here's why CNN and the Facebook I'm Voting app is such a good fit. Facebook's demos fit much better with CNN than with Twitter, Facebook has exponentially greater reach and time spent using than Twitter, and Facebook allows users to create an actual ongoing and meaningful relationship once again in our experience, unlike Twitter. So well done CNN, you got this one right. Well, every Tuesday, our exclusive new media, new marketing report becomes available here at the TVnews.tv. Let's send you out to San Francisco and ComBridges.com's John Leland right now. Hi, Jeff. Happy new media, new marketing Tuesday to you. And I want to follow up on your lead about Netflix, because I think that the one billion hours of Netflix programming being delivered to video TV viewers uh, over the month of June really does represent this kind of evolution of the market share pie, if you will. You know, people tend to think about new technology like it's going to overwrite the old technology. And it's just not true. I call it the A plus B theory of media evolution. When television was invented, people thought the movies would go out of business. Obviously, it doesn't happen. We now have A plus B movies and television. And now we have internet delivered streaming programming from Netflix doing TV shows as well as movies and competing directly with one billion hours of viewers. You know, whether you interpret that and estimate it's 80 minutes a day or the 24 million subscribers that uh, the BTIG analyst Richard Greenfield estimates, estimates, you know, there's just no getting around the fact that Netflix is now a major player delivering audiences at least as big as any cable network and possibly bigger. Obviously, they are getting programmed from different sources. So they're a new breed that's delivering via a new channel. So the bottom line is we have a new media pie. 
internet video, internet delivery, new media companies like Amazon, like Apple, like Netflix are taking new slices out of the pie. Does that mean TV goes away? No. TV will be here for a very, very long time. But there are new major players taking major slices of the pie that have to be taken every bit as seriously as major competitors as anybody on cable or broadcasting. And that's the way it also is going to be for a very, very long time. The New Media New Marketing Report is brought to you by ComBridges. Website design, internet marketing, and social marketing strategies. Visit them at combridges.com. Wednesday on the TV News.TV's exclusive Judge and Jury, find out how you may be legally liable for everything that you tweet. Make your plans now to attend the only industry trade event where you get two conferences at one location for just one price. It's CTAM Summit and CTAM Insights happening October 14th through the 16th. And right now you can save big with an early bird discount. Now for information and registration, visit ctamconferences.com. If you want to be one of our fantastic sponsors, hey, just like CTAM, here's how you can get started. Email us at advertise at the tvnews.tv and we look forward to hearing from you. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you very much for watching and as always, go out and make it. Good day.